So uh, we'll start today's uh, meetup, and first up will be Sayani. Yep. Hi everyone, as uh, Mike mentioned, my name is Sayani, so you can go to this website, sayn.ee, as a top level domain, and uh, I'm a web developer. And today I want to talk about one of my side projects that Mike said, but it is a side project about developer community, about developers like all of you here. And uh, <clears throat> the site is called data.webuild.sg. So I'm going to show you some graphs and charts collected about Singapore developer community over the course of 2000. Show you PHP data. And hopefully some of you with open source repositories names will be called out. And of course, Mike as well for uh, the organization. But uh, let me talk a little bit about how this project got started. So about four years ago, when I was kind of getting into web development, I was like, where are the meetups in Singapore? So in December 28, 2012, I did my first commit. And it was a static page. Zion will know very well what is a static page. And all I did was to list down chronologically the developer meetups in Singapore and the open source above 50 stars in GitHub. And that was pretty possible because you know what? Per week we would have what? Like two or three meetups per month, 10 meetups. That was in 2012, 2013. It wasn't possible anymore. <clears throat> so although the website design looks exactly the same, the architecture behind it has changed. So I want to explain to you what goes on. On the left-hand side is open events, and there we query uh, Facebook API, meetup.com API, Eventsprite API, and ICS URLs. Every hour, it runs a cron job or a scheduler, and it lists down the upcoming developer events in Singapore. As you can see right now, maybe if you refresh the page, it won't be there anymore because we have passed 7 o'clock. PHP meetup is there. And all the meetups here are about uh, developer meetups in Singapore. On the right hand side, on the other hand, we list open source repositories from GitHub that has at least 50 stars. The contributor or the owner of the repository has Singapore as part of the string of location. And also, it has been updated in the last three months. So this is what it is. So this website was going on fine since 2012, 13, and 14 until one of our friends, like Mike Cheng, his name is V, he was like, he's like a math dude, you know? He's like, hey, 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 I want to do some math. Are the events preserved somewhere? The events were never preserved, neither were the open source. Like, who cares about the past events, right? I only want to know about the future ones. So the data was always in memory, never backed up by a database. All right, so <clears throat> this is a side project, and then there was a lot of like bike shading, and we were like, okay, how do we kind of capture the data so that we can do some math? So this is what uh, the data.webuild is all about. And I'm going to explain to you once again the architecture. So what happens every day, there are two API endpoints, which is written in JSON, not in XML, not in, you know, like uh, CZON or whatever. So this is uh, the repository's uh, JSON API. It is, by the way, found in uh, webuildsg api slash v1 slash repos. And if you go here, you'll find the entire list of repositories. Similarly, there's also the events API endpoint, which I highly encourage all of you to go and consume it in your client-side application, iOS, iWatch, Android, whatever. So what this bot does is that every day at 3 a.m., it will commit two snapshots, one for the events and one for the repositories. And this was being done for the entire 2015. All of us got busy, and we were like, oh, well, whatever. We can't be bothered. But until in December, I was like, you know what? Let's, let's do some data manipulation. And that's what we did. We created 10 graphs out of these JSON snapshots taken for 365 days last year. Are you all curious to see the data? Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Here you will see a young but a growing developer community. And it invests in more of us, uh, or rather it should encourage more of us to come and join in into this growing story. And that's what my point is here for all of you today. So let me show you the very first one. This is repositories updated per week, per week. As you can see, this was in 29 December 2014. It was barely six repositories. You can clearly see that the number of repositories is growing until last week, 
You know, people were still coming from back from the holidays, but who cares? Developers were still chucking away code. There were like 27 repositories, which were above 50 stars, that were updated last week. And obviously, this is a growing trend. 27 repositories is a very small number. I think all of us can get together and make it even bigger this year. And I'm so happy that I'm speaking for a January meetup because this is basically a call for action for the rest of the year. All right, so let's look at the next one, which is um, maybe I should also uh, look at events per week just for this. Yeah, obviously, you can see that this is very low, the holiday period. This is like the Chinese New Year. The next one I want to show you is update events per programming language. All right, so PHP, I think you have been very, very active. There has been 127 Git pushes for the entire of last year for PHP for repositories with stars more than 50. I, I think we, we should clap ourselves for contributing. Like it's one of the highest. So JavaScript is, of course, uh, one of the highest. Uh, then. <clears throat> This is where we also tracked the active user groups with at least five events last year. So all of you, if you want to be looking for more developer events in Singapore, these are the groups. <clears throat> and because we query API, these are not stale data. This is taken from groups that had at least five events last year. So all of them are active groups. I don't think we could have imagined this number of groups like two or three years ago. Could we, Mike? Not really. And by the way, these are developer groups. I'm not even counting startups and, and design and all those, because those will be even more if you get them together. So please find a group and uh, get involved in other groups as well. Next is the interesting stuff. Are you all curious about PHP? So these are the repositories with at least 50 stars updated last year. And let's click this little guy called PHP. I do want to call out if the authors of the open source repository is here. Dispatch by Noodle Haas. Nudie Haas. Are you here? Come on. That's you. Woo. OK. Thank you. So please go and check out. It has 340 stars. Dispatch. Go and look at the issues. Go and give some pull requests. Love to him. Bones for Genesis 2.0. See Dukes. Are you here? All right, if not, uh, go and check this out. Config by Nudie Haas again. <laughs> Selects off by Gigabla. I know Chris, Chris is here, right? Where is Chris? Chris is there. Chris even has Go programming language, so go and check out. Yes. Chris. <laughs> one for one repository. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. And uh, all right. And next is State Machine by Winto. Are you here? And uh, Grab to it by Kai Henry. Kai. Kai is too busy with his kid. Um, Ino ERP. ERP. Ino ERP. Are you here? You'll get a free T-shirt if you put up your hand. I know Lester is here. Lester. One more T-shirt for Lester. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Save the environment, save the t shirts. Yes. <laughs> Give it to somebody who doesn't have that. And uh, Coil by Fanon. Are you here? Oh, but this project is awesome. Which project? Yeah, Coil. Coil is awesome, exactly. So please, 5,000 stars. <laughs> You know, the, because we query API once again, you know, it even makes us discover new things. Because, you know, as a programmer, these are not static. So when I go and look, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know this programmer actually lives in Singapore, right? Or actually rather put Singapore as their location. So it's a, please go ahead and check out other programming languages and, and get inspired. And, and um, uh, maybe as a meetup organizer, you can invite these uh, uh creator of open source to talk about it. Maybe Chris Hink can talk about it, or you can talk about it at the next. The problem is not all of them uh, publish their emails. Or yeah, I know, right? Maybe tag in a Git issue. Hey, you know. <laughs> because they're active on GitHub, right? So create an issue. Can you talk on PHP Meetup? All right, so more. Um, so once again, we also create uh, maps out of the location data. So if you are a new Meetup user group, Please uh, go ahead and check out this map. And a big thanks to PayPal, really, because PayPal, like, it's, it's, yeah, both the locations, the old one and the new one is here. So thanks to that. 
And uh, wow, wow. And uh, finally, uh, data.weebill.sg, the one with the graphs, is fully open source. Everything is open source, by the way. So I highly encourage you to go there, uh, make some pull requests. If not, give us suggestion for the graphs we can plot. That's that's the inspiring thing I need. Like, where can I get more inspiration or rather insight about the developer community here? And finally, I wanted to point out to you these few numbers. So the one at the bottom is the numbers of uh, 2015. And I restarted that for 2016. And let's see whether we can beat that number. I mean, we are still a young community. But uh, to beat that number, I don't think it's, uh, it's the job of only Mike Cheng or the job of only the few open source repositories. It's for all of us to come in and join in. So really, I, I, I will say for sure that all the meetup organizers here are very, very open to newcomers, people out of industry, people new to PHP, programming, please come and talk to Mike Cheng, come and talk to the organizers. They will take you up with open arm, with uh, help and stuff like that. So please contribute. These numbers uh, will be done by all of us. And uh, finally, uh, I have just three requests from all of you. So what can we do about the, the developer community uh, stats here? So firstly, uh, please raise an issue about what are the graphs we can plot. Secondly, if you know an existing programmer who is not aware of this open community here that is free and open for programming, for open source, please bring the person to a meetup. And if the person can speak, please encourage uh, him or her to speak as well. Next one is uh, add links to notes. So this is something I just coded up just this afternoon. We are trying to collect a group of links uh, to help meetup organizers, to help first-time contributors to open source first time conference proposal. I would love your pull request to this repository. It's right here, uh, send some pull request. It's written in HTML, not uh, Markdown, not JSON. You know, it's plain old HTML, so I, I believe all of us will be able to contribute to it. So contribute to it. And uh, let's see what the magic numbers will be for 2016, but it's all up to us. And all the best to PHP, and I hope to see more meetups and more activities in PHP programming language. Thank you so much. I would love your questions. Uh, anyone have questions for Sayani? Okay. Anyone have questions for her? No, yes. What is it written in? Um, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so different. Uh, projects are written in different things. This Weebill is written in Node. It's hosted in OpenShift by Red Hat. Uh, you know, as side projects, we tend to find you know free stuff to use. I don't want to pay money. And uh, yeah, it runs a scheduler. Uh, the data.weebill.sg is a complete static site, but uh, it uses uh, Jade, and then it compiles into HTML. And I just I just run a build task every other day. I kind of get pulled, but feel free to look at the thing. And um, yeah, we actually do have a, a a podcast website as well. I need to restart it where we also interview. It's called live.weebill.sg. We interview developers visiting or living in Singapore. So feel free to listen to all of them. The very first one is by Mike Cheng, first episode. <laughs> All right, if not, uh, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the calendar, attend more meetups. Yes? Would there be any integration with uh, job board? No, uh, the job board? I, I, oh my god, I don't have time. Oh yeah, I, I don't have time, man. Job board will require time, right? I'm trying to learn iOS. Oops. Sorry, I'm trying to learn PG. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I think job board is probably better done by tech in Asia, right? Do you have a job board? Don't you guys have a job board or something? Oops, I'm sorry. Tech in Asia? That's E27. Okay, like like one of the startup. Or embed the feed. Oh, embed the feed. Or maybe just like I do have links here. Maybe I'll just point to the link there. You know, like hackerspace job board. Yeah. All right. Uh, if not, uh, talk to me. I shall not take much more time. Uh, let's talk uh, after the meetup. Thank you. <laughs>